When dealing with foot and ankle injuries, we come upon three common issues, and that would be Achilles tendonitis, plantar fasciitis, and shin splints, also known as medial tibial stress syndrome. There are three very different injuries, but have very similar causes, man injury management, and uh, prevention techniques as well. When looking at Achilles tendonitis, you're looking more at the insertion here, right where the Achilles tendon is. It's an irritation or an inflammation of the tendon itself. Shin splints or medial tibial stress syndrome will occur usually either at the tib post on the inside here or the tibialis anterior right along the front of the tibia. Plantar fasciitis adversely will happen more at the base right here at the heel or along the arch. So you'll have your pain or irritations at that area. So the causes for the three injuries, plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendonitis, and shin splints are all very similar. The first one is doing too much too soon. And this is going from the couch to running 10K or all of a sudden going from your off season to a busy preseason, a lot of training, ramping that up uh, is number one. Number two would be improper footwear. So footwear with not enough arch support, um, too big or too small, or just not right for your foot. Uh, there's also doing a lot of changing in your training. So doing too much uh, up and uphill running, downhill running, doing a lot of instead of, or changing your surface that you're running on. So going from grass or sand to all of a sudden hard concrete or hardwood flooring uh, can put a lot of impact and stress on the lower leg. So the towel stretch consists of using a towel to help stretch out the muscles in the back of the leg, so your calf muscles, the gastrox and soleus, or along the arch of the foot uh, when dealing with plantar fasciitis. And so the stretch consists of wrapping the towel around the balls of the feet and just with the leg as straight as possible, using your arms to pull the, pull the foot towards you, so toes towards your nose, and you're really going to feel that stretch along the calf muscle down there or along the arch uh, when suffering from plantar fasciitis. So when dealing with shin splints, the tibialis anterior muscle along the front of the shin is one, the one that's the most affected or most commonly affected. And so to stretch that out, simply put one foot in front of the other, uh, straighten that leg out, point those toes towards the ground, and really use the floor to really push and uh, stretch that muscle out. And you'll really feel that right along the front of the shin, right along here, on the tibialis anterior muscle. So a second tibialis anterior stretch that you can do if the first one isn't working for you is you can sit down on your feet. And it's quite exactly as described. Uh, you would basically have your feet pointed out and you're really going to use your body weight to push down and really feel that stretch along the front of the shin. The next stretch that we're going to do is going to be for your gastrocnemius, which is the big superior calf muscle in the back. And to stretch this out, simply leaning up against the wall with your leg straight back, keeping that straight, that leg nice and straight, and just leaning forward gently into that stretch. You'll feel that right in the back in that gastrox muscle right there. Secondly, what you can also do is you can move your foot up against the wall, uh, making sure you're keeping your legs straight and just gently leaning in using your body weight to really feel that stretch again along that same area in the calf here. So commonly in athletes, one of the big mistakes that they do is they forget to stretch the soleus muscle in the lower leg. And so you're really focusing on a lot of stretching the gastrox and not enough of the soleus, which is causing a lot of muscle imbalances. And so to target that, uh, the soleus, you can do the following two stretches. Similarly to the gastrox stretch, leaning up against the wall. Uh, but this one first, you want to bend that back knee and then lean into it. And so you'll really feel that stretch nice and low here in the soleus muscle. Secondly, similar to the gastrox, you can put your foot up against the wall, but before you lean forward, again, you want to bend that knee, really isolate that soleus muscle going in and leaning in gently and really feeling that stretch along the back of the leg. A great trick for getting the tension out from the arch of the foot or along the bottom of the foot, if you don't have someone who's willing to give you that foot massage every night, is to grab a tennis ball or a golf ball and really roll along the arch of the foot and really roll along the bottom of it and just rolling your foot back and forth, rolling over those tension areas and really feeling it relax. You really want to avoid painful areas, and so if it's painful, move a little bit to the side. Pain just tends to add a little bit more tension, so really roll out that tension. Uh, this will feel great, and it's very easy to do. A great tip that can be used for all athletes who are suffering from any of the irritations mentioned is using a frozen water bottle placed there before practice, come back from a practice or a game, and you're feeling really inflamed and sore, is to grab the water ball and roll it over the affected areas. And so in this case, we can use it under the bottom of the foot for the arch. So you'll have that cooling effect of the ice as well as the same pressure going on. Uh, so you can use it under the foot, simply just rolling the foot over it again. 
you can also do it for those shin muscles as well, where the tibialis anterior that we were mentioning. Uh, so going up and down, so that's tib post, and then along the front of the shin uh, for the tib ant muscle. And then commonly you can also go in the back uh, with the calf as well. So rolling that nice up and down the calf, getting that uh, nice ice cooling effect as well as the pressure from the massage. This is great to do for about a minute or two per muscle group and just make sure you're going up all the way up and down the muscle. So be sure to hold all these stretches for a minimum of 30 seconds, but I would even say just hold them until you feel the muscle relax. Everyone's a little bit different, so listen to what your body's telling you. For more tips, videos, stretches, visit sportmedbc.com.